channel. My friends call me Jelly. I used a ketogenic journey to lose 212 pounds, but I did go up in weight, to be honest. My lowest was 158. My highest after losing all that was 210. I had COVID now a total of four times since last September, which made my weight go up and up and up and keep making my body not work. I got it in January really badly, along with Loving Out on Keto's channel. And we have struggled, and other people I've watched has struggled getting the weight back off. I think they put like 10 pounds on or something, but unfortunately, not me. I ended up getting to 213 on March 11th, but that was from a cheat, but 210 without cheating. Um, because my body went wacko. My blood sugars went insane. My blood pressure went insane everything and my body started healing when we did the challenge in april the beef butter um egg and like no dairy you could have keto chaldo challenge i lost a drastic amount of weight got into the 170s i think 176 but i'm not sure um and then then we introduced salads again and dairy again and my weight went back up to the one low 180s um and that's because I tend to put on a lot of water weight with sandwich meats, with lettuces, tomatoes. I get inflammation, but they're so yummy. It's really, really hard. And it is a keto product, but some of us have sensitivities. Um, and then at the beginning of July, I got this C word all over again. And my weight shot in 190s, high 180s, 190s. A few days ago, I was weighing in at 192, and I got some kind of weird thing happen, sickness, um, where everything left my body both ways. And that was about three days ago. Um, I woke up that, the next morning, so 192, the next morning I was like 186 something. Um, that's how sick I was. That's how much I lost that night sick. Um, and then the next day, I didn't eat for like 38 hours. Actually, I didn't eat anything. I was just um, drinking. I had one coffee, one cup of like where I take a bouillon cube and bowl it in water. And then I had some real life um, Redmond's real lights, um, electrolytes. I always say the name wrong, but it's Redmond's electrolytes. You can get on Amazon or their website. Um, I do the Amazon monthly subscription thing, but I do it for every two months because I don't drink a whole lot of it. But that's what I've been drinking for the last two days. Now, yesterday, you saw what I ate if you watch my channel. Um, it's where I had the sirloin steak, about nine ounces, and two eggs, two collagen coffees, and then bouillon cubes and electrolyte drinks for the rest of the day. In that amount, um, that is considered protein sparing modified fast because, well, it was a little higher than that, but close. Um, your fat should be 30, but my fat was 35. Um, my protein was about 110. I wanted more like 130, but it's okay. My carbs was like three. So, and my calories was 735. So, people might come at me and say, oh, you need to eat more. No, no, no. Protein bear modified fast. I lost a lot of weight on and I actually felt better than I ever felt in my whole life when we were doing that. Um, food physically makes me sick, most food does. So not having a lot of food in me yesterday made me feel better. It made me be able to get through the conference with my daughter and have some fun with her. If I had eaten more than that, I would have been in trouble. Like when I got home, I didn't even wanna eat. Um, my sleep was horrible last night, absolutely horrible. My hips were hurting for standing that many hours, and because of the weight gain, it makes my hips hurt more. So, um, I had, I think I recorded it, hold on. All right, so use all this I've had today. It is almost four o'clock. Um, I am making some food, and I did record it step by step. It's in the oven right now. I'm gonna show you the video in a second. Um, but it might be another protein spare my five fast day. And I'm planning on making some bread if I feel like it later. Uh, the first is Monday. Who's all doing Wendy and Harry's challenge? Okay, it is deliberate fasting. 
and doing your ketones and glucose. And if you're doing it, are you just doing morning glucose and ketones because it's really expensive? Or are you doing it after, like two hours after your biggest meal? That's what I can't decide. And I don't know how they're doing it. I should ask them. Um, because my morning, um, sometimes I have done phenomena ever since I got the C word again, where my morning um, blood sugars are like 100. And then I have no ketones. But if I did it later in the day, my blood sugars are fine and I have ketones. And then I can't decide. Maybe if I have, maybe on the days that I do like keto chow or salad, maybe I'll do it after my meal so that I can see what it did to me. Or maybe I'll try to do it multiple times. I don't know. The strips are really, really expensive. I'm going to put them on my wish list. And if you want me to do it multiple times and you can afford to send them to me, then I'll do it multiple times. That's how I've decided I'm going to do it because it's just, it would be interesting to see how it goes all day. I am trying to get a doctor's appointment to see if I can get a constant glucose monitor um, just to see what's going on with me. But yeah. So on the deliberate fasting days, I think I'm going to turn those into, because I already do intimate fasting every day, I think I might turn those into protein spare and modified fast days um, so I can still get my protein in because I really want to hit the gym in August, so that's what I'm thinking of. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm really upset. And, and, and let me go ahead and because I can't discuss how silly I feel right now and upset about how silly I am not knowing this until you've seen the video. So let's watch me cooking and then y'all all gonna slap your forehead thinking I'm dumb. Okay, I just crawled out of bed. I went to bed early last night and then woke up around one or two, could not fall back asleep until 5 a.m. this morning or closer to six. So it is almost 2 p.m. And I'm having my first coffee. Literally just climbed out of bed. Um, got on the scale. I'm 183 something. And that is from being sick and not being able to eat. These numbers you're seeing, drastic, drastic numbers. Almost 10 pounds in three days. That is from fasting, basically. Emptying my body like a detox because I was sick, it kind of detoxed my body, right? It pushed everything out. And drastically low calories. Yesterday I did have the um, eight ounces of, I think it was more like nine ounces of sirloin and two eggs, so I'm not sure how many calories that was. And I did have two coffees. So I'll add it up, I'll put it on my thing because that's all I had yesterday. So I'm having a lot of electrolytes and just just pure carnivore, I guess. Um, and the weight is dropping extremely fast. So I was gonna, I have chicken breast. I was gonna grind it. But then I was like, what if not having the cheese is making my weight drop so fast on top of it all? If I grind it, I'm gonna want to put cheese in it. So I might cut it up into chicken strips and do some kind of um, fried up chicken, air fried chicken strips using like the, well, if I do it, I'll go through the steps with y'all because I, I was thinking about it in my sleep. I'm not hungry right now, so I'm just gonna drink this coffee and we'll totally come back to y'all when it's time to uh, cook some dinner or whatever time I feel like eating. Okay, so I'm going to make some chicken tenders in the air fryer. Put this pan away. So the first thing I want to do is mix my coating all up and put it away before I bring out the raw chicken. I'm not a fan of raw chicken. So we're going to do that first. A lot of my measuring cups and stuff is dirty, so we're going to go with what we have. Alright, so I am using some of the savory chicken keto chow. Um, I can't eat a whole lot of food. So, I'm going to weigh it because I don't think I could measure it correctly because I want a half or less of a scoop, but we all know it just doesn't ever work out right. Let me see. Is this the one with the battery? 
I gotta put batteries in them because I keep grabbing the wrong one. All right, so I have a pack of the savory chicken so I can read that a pouch. Oh, does that say the weight? It's gotta say the weight. Does it not say the weight? Nope. But I think it's about probably 46 because that's what most of them have been. The big bags usually say what the weight is. So let's just see. In grams, y'all, grams. Let's see what that equals. 18, so we'll put a little more. All right, 24 grams is what we're going with. 24 grams of savory chicken keto chow. So you can use whatever protein powder, um, even lump, lumpt, lumpton flour. Like, I'm still going to try that, but because I've been sick, we're not trying it today. Now we need to get some of these other ingredients. I'm going to use two tablespoons of buttermilk powder. And we're going in with two tablespoons, because that's what's already in here, of butter powder, powdered butter. This should be more than enough to coat my chicken with. Now, let's add some flavoring. Grabbing my paprika, the one I am using is um, Spanish style, and I am going to go in with a half a teaspoon of this. Mm, let's go in with a whole teaspoon. I am a fan of paprika. Okay, so I would go in with garlic, but because of my stomach issues, I am not going in with anything garlic, any adobe seasonings, or anything like that right now. Um, I am going to go in with some black pepper, which I am just going to do this with. And I am going to go ahead and use real salt. So Redmond's Real Salt, I am going to go ahead and use it because it is my favorite. Um, we're going to go in with Chef Blend. If I could have like all the other seasonings, I would go in with some onion powder, some garlic powder, some probably some turmeric, some cumin instead of this. But it is what it is. Now, now this is ready. Time for me to get the chicken out of the fridge. So give me a second. So I have separated. I took two of the chicken breasts and I cut them in the strips. I thought it was recording, but I guess I wasn't. So I'm gonna get this one back in the fridge real fast. Now you could go ahead and do a whole little bit of heavy cream and an egg and dip them in and let them sit for a while but I'm just not in the mood to do extra stuff. So instead I'm gonna use the spray can of extra virgin olive oil and Wendy and Harry has taught me something new. Y'all, I feel like I don't know anything this week between the parchment paper and wax paper and now learning that olive oil can go ranch in. I smell, I made sure this one wasn't, but I didn't know that. I just use it until it runs out. I never pay attention to the dates on it or nothing. I just, I just used my olive oil. I had no clue. Now, also, but I knew some could be made with bad stuff, but I get one from Costco, and it's supposed to be on the list of good ones. So, let me read. 100% Italian extra virgin olive oil. Um, it has a little stampy thing. So, I think this one's a good one, but now what's the date on it? 
with their dates. Let me look. Oh my gosh, y'all. I gotta throw out my olive oil. This is embarrassing. It's from September 2021. So maybe it is nasty and I don't realize it because I'm so used to eating. Yeah, what the heck? Y'all, I feel so stupid lately. I swear, I swear. But at least when the in here, it keeps me on track, right? Crap, hold on. Put most of it in there, at least half of it. Oh my goodness, y'all. I'm going to have to throw my olive oil out and go buy new. Guess I'm going to Costco this week if I have time. It's going to be a busy week. Tomorrow, or no, Monday, the mini fridge comes. Yes, I know, it's flying. So the mini fridge comes Monday. And then on the 4th, I have an appointment with my daughter. I'm going to look all this stuff up. Like, so much is going on. Yeah, I'm using a lot of wipes. Yeah, I mean, thingies. I usually wouldn't because I would do it a little different if I wasn't recording. I do it a more faster way that I really didn't care if they got coated all over or not. But we want it pretty, right? We want it all nice and coated. And I had hate the taste of chicken lately, so I'm hoping this will make me want it. And I'm going to let this sit for at least five to ten minutes just to cake it on, and then we will come back because we're going to stick in the air fryer, which is my oven. Turn my oven on to 425. And now that the chicken's not all slimy, I can just wash my hands. I just cannot stand to fill a slimy chicken or pork. So now I'm just going to stick it on my air fry pan, which is also the pan I use for cooling bread. If I feel okay later, we're going to do some bread. Ooh, is it all going to fit? Let's see, let's do this. No, we can put you back because you're shorter, you're longer. Let's see, put you here. I just want to make sure they all cook nicely. Now, let me wash my hands. Give me one second. Hold on, I think I'm going to need to grab me another can of this real fast. I don't think there's any in it. Okay, so now I'm just going to spray the top. The oven is still heating up, but way far back because you see as I just sprayed some of the stuff off. Okay, and yes, these are in date. These, these are fine. All right, so I'm going to go over it with a little more black pepper. And where's my paprika? So the paprika is what gives it its nice pretty golden color. And I think I put more than enough of the real mince salt on here already. So this is going to go in the oven. I don't know how long, so I will let you know when I figure out how long it takes to cook. Because I've never cooked this in my new oven. So, I know I've had the oven for a long time. But this has not been something I've cooked at all. So, in it goes. Middle shelf. Um, a lot of people do air fryers on the top shelf. But it seems to spit too much and make my fire alarms go off and smoke up the house and it's 105 out there right now on the thermometer in the shade don't know what it actually is in the sun and with the humidity but this girl is not opening windows or doors to get the smoke out so we'll be back i don't remember if i told you 425 y'all i was never a cook with olive oil it was always vegetable oil and crap I don't know anything about it, and yes, I've been using olive oil for four years now, but I don't, I didn't know it could go bad, because I know the coconut oil, once it goes best by date, you can still use it until it's all gone. What? What?
what? I didn't know. I did not know. All right. I feel stupid because it's over a year past this date. And what is it really supposed to taste like then? I like the taste of it. I love the taste of it. But if it's ranched, and especially since it's been in daylight, which means I need to paint my little spray bottle so it doesn't get in daylight, what is it really supposed to taste like? Oh, yes. Yes, I feel stupid. And yes, we are taking a trip this week to Costco. I just got to figure out what day. Because Tuesday I need to take my daughter to see Thor, probably. Oh, y'all. Yeah. I find out this week that parchment paper and wax paper is not the same. I just thought people called it two different things, but I thought it was the same. I, I just grabbed the container that says paper on it. <sighs> Works really well for bacon. I've been using wax paper for bacon for years. Oh my gosh, y'all. Yeah. Now I find out olive oil can actually go bad. Yeah. I feel so stupid. Y'all just don't even know. I feel like, oh my gosh, I should have known this. I, I worked in the bakery for a couple years when I was in my late teens and early 20s. Um, I worked in so many restaurants, but we never used olive oil in the restaurant, so I can understand that. Um, and I guess we didn't really use wax paper or parchment paper, but I feel stupid. All right, let me go check on the chicken. So next time we're gonna use way less um, buttermilk powder. I didn't realize that's nine carbs per tablespoon. However, 90% of it got thrown away. Like I used way too many ingredients on it. Like it didn't need it all. So much got thrown away. So I'm not really, I'm gonna just count it as like two carbs because like I said, Literally, the bag was still full. It looked like I didn't really use any. 20 minutes, I do, they're just wet. They're more like blackened chicken. So I'm putting on roller on high for like a minute or two to see if I can crisp it up a little. The air fryer will probably work way better. The air fryer in this oven does not seem to air fry. No matter how close I do put it, it still doesn't air fry, it just smokes. It's a very expensive oven. I bought it because of the air fryer. And in my opinion, the air fryer sucks. It is four o'clock, it is done. Um, I put it in the bowler for about three minutes. I have one teaspoon of Duke mayonnaise, one tablespoon of mustard, a little bit of sweet and low as my sauce, and I have about nine ounces almost of the chicken breast. Um, a lot of the stuff we off, so I'm really only gonna count like two carbs for the whole thing because none of it really stuck. But let's go see what it tastes like. Okay, so my mom brought up something that um, maybe I should reiterate on my channel because so many people get this wrong. You are taught, if you have diabetes, don't eat a lot of protein because it can damage your kidneys, right? Or don't eat a lot of protein and only protein because it can damage your kidneys. My mom, because... She knows I'm sick, and I told her I'm just eating protein right now, really. And she was like, well, protect your kidneys. I'm like, what do you mean? She's like, because protein will damage your kidneys. Um, and I'm not really sure she believed me, because they all got off the phone with me fast and sounded like, yeah, like I was in some kind of cult. <laughs> like, it felt like at that moment I was not believed at all, and like I was being crazy. Um, I don't know if she meant to make me feel that way, maybe she just wanted off the phone, but I said, there are tons of carnivores that just eat protein and fat, a lot of it, every day, and they actually heal their kidney disease. Like, so many things we were taught all our life is not true. I mean, come on, back in like my grandfather's era, did commercials and probably my mama's that sugar was healthy for you yeah and that was bad and they still believe that people still believe that to this day um so no 
now maybe a lot of protein powders stuff like that excessively because of all the other stuff that might be in it that might be bad for you i don't know i just know eating fresh protein that you are making what i mean by that is like steak eggs um chicken turkey pork fish natural protein is not bad for you and i'm not even eating the amount i should be i should be like 148 protein a day at least and i'm not even eating that amount so i am still way under the amount i'm supposed to be i don't think people realize just how much protein you should be eating a day like i keep telling my mom because she and my daughter do not eat enough protein i don't even think they get like 60 a day or 40 a day and they feel like it's so much but it's not it's under feeding your body your protein should be your top priority you should eat your protein before you eat anything else okay eat your meat on your plate before anything else because if you're gonna end up getting full and get a big piece of meat, I'm talking eight, nine ounces of chicken breast, I'm talking a big 10 ounce plus steak, you need your protein. It will help with your skin, it will help with your bones, it will help with everything wrong in your body, it will help rebuild things, your muscles, you name it. Um, so, yeah, just saying your protein first people to get some exercise in um today so we are going to get in the pool because it's crazy hot there's no way i can walk so i'm just gonna walk inside this pool it's 30 by 33 around like if you stand in the middle it's like from one side to the next so 30 33 feet this way 33 so i don't know how much that equals around and with my fitbit broken and i'm not taking my samsung watch in there I'm not going to have any steps tracked or swimming tracked because I will be swimming. Um, but yeah, I can have some enjoyment too. I want to take the shark out, but I can't because I gotta go get the basket. Let me go do that so I can get that shark out of the pool. It will trip me over and over again. Oh, and I totally forgot to say I did go ahead and eat the rest of those chickens about an hour ago. So it was about five, six o'clock, um, which was another six point six ounces hold on we haven't built the stairs to come off the porch so i have to use a ladder um so it was another so i'm getting a lot of protein today which is the goal right high protein is the goal here um because i'm doing another as close as i can of the protein spare modified fast gotta get this thing out oh that water's hot Oh my gosh, I was watching Keto in the Chaos saying it was about 80 degrees and that's the hottest to water. Like, it was hot to her. Y'all, I cannot get in my pool unless it's 85 or higher because I'm freezing in the water. Freezing. That's so weird. And Dino thinks it's hot at 82. But I, I find it freezing. Okay, music time. Okay, so this is the bread I made the other day. But since I'm not using cheese right now or sandwich meat, we're going to make these in the crumbs like we're gonna cut it up stick it in the oven and dry it out it's the flour stuff that um wendy was making that's basically what we are doing i don't think they're all gonna fit on my pan so we're just gonna do whatever fits And I probably could have cut them thicker, but this is what we're going with. I'm going to stick this in the oven. Um, actually, on the roller, it'll be way faster. So in they're going to go. Now, I have not tried this recipe as toast. And I'm a little hungry, so we are going to try that. And I just got out of the pool. I was in there two hours. Two hours. 
Okay, and I pull my toaster out and plug it in. I don't use toasters much, so I don't waste. I have no counter space, so I don't waste it on a toaster. Let's go ahead and cut the two slices as close as the same as possible. Okay, I was a little, like, really upset not realizing how many total carbs is in buttermilk powder. I should have, like, looked before. I'm just going to stick this in the oven on top, on top of it and see what happens. I should have totally looked, right? That's my own fault. So, when I redo the recipe again, um, like, change some stuff about it, we're going to have to change the amount of that I put in there. I know overall 9 to 16 slices, depending on how thin you get it, it's not that much at all. But I am going for as low as carb as possible, but holy crap, that buttermilk tastes so yummy on it. So we're going to go back with the measurements of buttermilk that Wendy came up with. And I'm going to have to do some calculations because you know we are putting some powdered butter in it and then egg yolk I don't think it really makes that much of a difference though but we'll see so we'll come back once this is done toasting oh plus what's in the oven too so you can see okay so here's the toast I was trying not to really melt the butter I just want to soften it but that, that got carried away Enough. This is exactly one tablespoon of butter, if you're wondering. Woo! Okay, let me pull this out and flip it. Coffee, even though it's smoked in here. Let's see. Let me get a tiny bit more butter. So I didn't really like Ed's grilled cheese because I didn't think it had enough flavor. But guess what? That was before we knew, you know, changed some stuff up because I didn't have that nutritional yeast. So let's try it this way. Oh my god. Not that really strong crispy texture, I bet what's gonna be in the oven though. But it really does taste like toast. But not the same texture. Okay. I am going to put these back in the oven on bake or something because the roller is working great for the top layer. But I'm having to create too much smoke to make it even begin to be crispy. Well, I'm going to show you. Once it is, that will be so good. I'm going to steal this piece. Okay. So, I'm going to put it back in there. I should have just watched Wendy's video when she did it. Um, it's been a while, though, since she's done it. Let's put them 425 and just stick it back in there. this toast because it really reminds me of toast it is just too hot to be making these it is really heating up my house using my oven is taking a long time so I'm not even gonna worry about it anymore I would have to cook these a whole lot to get them where I could grind them up because they are still completely soft maybe maybe they're supposed to be even thinner I don't think so so I'm just gonna leave them like this and I'm just going to warm them up tomorrow and the next day put a little butter on them and eat them as toast so i'm just gonna put them in the ziploc bag and eat them as toast like 
they will warm up perfectly. I'll just throw them in the toaster for a few seconds. And this would, y'all, I'm really liking the toast. I might actually go ahead and put butter and eat this one. Because it won't fit in the bag anyway, so that's a great excuse, right? I don't really know how to do the macros on these like I did my original ones because the original ones didn't have any fats in it and stuff. Um, so I'll just have to figure that out. Well, on the next batch I make, I'll write everything down and figure out the macros 100%. Um, now the very next one, which I might do later tonight, because um, it's 9 and it's still way too hot. But I might... I might make a gingerbread bread. Like, I'm really debating on it. I was going to do lemon, like a lemon pound cake, but I usually like a glaze on my lemon or I end up giving my lemon to my mom and not really eating it. And I need something since the first is coming. Um, I need something I'm going to actually eat. So that's why I'm saying I should probably do gingerbread. I eat the gingerbread, I eat the pumpkin bread. So it'll be one of those. But I'm going to be using these recipes to do it. I don't know if I'll be adding the egg yolk to it yet or not. But I'm going to be sticking very close to Wendy's recipe. I'm just adding ingredients. Like keto chow. Mm -mm -mm. I'm going to go eat this. My mouth is full. Yeah. Okay, so I'm in the mood to cook. But... It is still too hot to turn the oven on, and it's 10 o'clock at night. So, I'm going to use a little Kerrygold unsalted butter because I'm going to need this not to stick. So, no direction said to put butter in the pan, but we're going to because we do not want to stick. What am I making? I'm making something I said I would never, ever, ever, ever make. It just sounds gross. I'm not ever going to attempt it. But we are. We are. And I said I never would. So, what is it? What are we making? Well, let's just put some of the ingredients in. See if you can guess. Probably not. Probably not. Okay, so that's one egg. I'm not making a big batch of it. I'm not sure how big a batch it means. Two. Always, always got shells because I suck. Three eggs. One cup liquid egg white. And yes, you're supposed to shake, and I didn't. Let me tell you some of the other ingredients. Flavoring. As I make a mess, I should add a bigger bowl. Flavoring. Your choice. Some monk fruit. The amount. Your choice. One third cup heavy cream. We're doing one third cup monk fruit as well. And it's going in the blender. Do you know what it is yet? Do you? Are you screaming it or are you saying, no jelly, we don't, just tell us. protein pudding which I said sounded nasty and I would never do but I was watching a video just now a little born and was like okay we're gonna try it 
I'm just gonna try it. Maybe it'll be yummy. Let's turn on the temperature. We don't want to burn these. Right, I saw a child making this in this video. And I would totally tell you who it was, but I do not. I've never watched their channel until just now. And I wrote it down and wasn't paying attention. But I've seen y'all make this, so I've seen a lot of people make this. Of course, they make it with bold eggs a lot of times. Okay, so we are going to need one third cup of heavy cream. So, do I have one third on this? Yes, I do. Okay. I think it's one and a half cups water or half a cup water. I think it's half a cup water. We'll do half a cup and then I'll look at the directions and see. It's on my phone. I wrote it on a little paper on my phone. I need a pan like Wendy's. Her non-stick pan seems to be amazing. My non-stick pans don't seem to work too well. So, half a cup, which I'm pretty sure is what it was, but we'll look and see. really sticking to the bottom. I usually put a lot of butter, but I was afraid it would change the taste too much. Okay, this seems fast, easy. We're going to see. I'm trying to decide between chocolate and vanilla. I think I'm going with chocolate. And I'm doing it a little different because I'm going to add an ingredient they did not use. I'm going to add a few ingredients they did not use. Because you know, it's really hard to, for me to stick to people's recipes. Okay, we want to cook it but not overcook the eggs. Some of it's a little too wet still. Okay, she did one third cup monk fruit to start with. So that's what we're going to do. She did add more to taste after it blended. This is so weird, y'all. This is really weird. <laughs> I have not done this yet. Okay, we're going to stick our eggs in. I am terrified about the taste. I mean, the texture looked fine in the video. And I know, Wendy's made some different ones before, and she said it was yummy. But I never got on that kick. It freaked me out too much. So, we're going to see. because I want to do a lot of protein next month in just a day, right? I'm going to start going to the gym starting tomorrow. Okay, that's before the first, but we're doing it. Okay, so the other ingredients that I'm going to use, let me go get them. We're going to, and then I'll make sure I got the water right. Sweet Drops Chocolate. That's what I have. One, two, three, because that's all that's in there. But I could go get some. Um, we're going to do one good shot of vanilla with the monk fruit at shot vanilla. And we are using Perfect Keto Collagen One Scoop. Let me make sure I don't have any other chocolate in here. We are going to use a sprinkle of cinnamon. Just get some cinnamon in there. Cinnamon always makes chocolate taste better. Now, if I have more of the chocolate, which I can go grab, um, if this doesn't taste right. So I'm going to go blend it. First, I'm going to make sure the water is correct. And if it is, I'll go blend it and come back and tell you. It is half a cup of water. I'm scared. 
I'm scared to taste this. Holy crap. That was a sill. Whew. It's supposed to thicken up in the fridge, so. All right, let's see, do I need more chocolate? I opened another one just in case. I'm scared, let's just, well, let's just do it like this. I still taste a little egg. Like I still taste egg. So, we're gonna blend it a little more. We're gonna do two long squirts. I am gonna go ahead and throw a vanilla. Good squirt of vanilla. I'm really debating about going ahead and putting another collagen scoop in there. I wish I had chocolate keto. That, that would work. Okay, I'm going to put a quarter of a scoop in there. Let me try one more time. I don't want to put more um, monk fruit because it has erythritol in it and my tummy just doesn't like it. I mean, if I have to, I can put some sweet and low in it because I like sweet and low. Let me go try. Okay. And I was told that the taste will change as it sits, but that did not taste like chocolate at all to me. I do not know. I do not taste chocolate. I mean, it's not horrible, but I'm just, yeah, we're doing a sweet and low. I'm just not getting the chocolate. We're going to put a little more, just a squirt, because I don't want to use too much. I'm getting into my abstracts. I'm going to add something to it. Where are you? I know which one I want. I just gotta find it. Glazed donut. One dropper of glazed donut. And then I won't add anything else to it. I'll just put it in the fridge and come back tomorrow and see how it goes. Let's blend, then we'll taste. Okay, totally not gonna do anything else to it. This is what we're going with, no matter what it tastes like. I don't know. It'll be edible, but I, I taste the egg. Do y'all really not taste egg when you make this? I'm just wondering. Because I, is, can you only do it as vanilla? Like, I taste the egg. 100%. Like, that's the strongest thing to me, is the egg. But, we're going to give it a shot. We're going to give it a shot. Let me grab a little container. I need to see if I have another one this size. Actually, I think the small one I have right here will work. Okay, we'll find out tomorrow. Tomorrow will be the truth for my taste buds. <gasps> Maybe y'all aren't as sensitive. Mine is very sensitive to egg or chicken. Like today I was really surprised I could eat those chicken strips. 
Um, I'm going to do it totally different next time, but they were edible. And that is hard for me to say because chicken has not been edible since January when I got COVID the first time. So, and I tried chicken breast made the, a different way the other day and hated it. Um, I do like it with cheese fried up with some other stuff in the pan because it doesn't taste like chicken at all. Um, but I'm going to put this in the fridge and be back. Okay, so we'll taste test that tomorrow. If I make the bread, of course, I'm going to record it no matter what time of day or night I do it. And I will always show y'all. Um, I'm not even going to, like, it's not even going to be in the title about the pudding because I'm not too sure about it. But if it works, I already have some ideas using keto child for it. My head is very shaky, so I'm going to stop. Every time I swim, it really irritates that nerve and makes my head shake, like, nonstop. Hi, baby. Do you smell the chicken cut? Can you smell it? Hi, baby. See, I decided mommy is my favorite person in the world. You baby. What's the matter? Mommy, you are torturing me with that chicken in the oven. You always cook all these smelly, yummy beans, and then you're selfish and you don't let me have it. You only let me have my cat food and occasionally some unseasoned chicken or steak. I want seasoning. Why can't you get it through your head? I'd be fine with the seasoning. Why are you so mean to me, Mommy? Why? Um, what's going on in here? Hello? What is going on, Freya? Freya? Frey. Hi, Dumper. Hi, baby. Mom is so mean to me. She is locking me away from my best friend, Willow. She thinks I'm going to get Willow pregnant, so I'm going to eat her toes. Hi, Shirky. Are you with your twin? Are you and your twin? Yeah. You and your little twin. You and Bear Bear. Ooh, mommy's tummy's growling. I am hungry.